suck it. Wow. Right? And you just <laughs> keep sucking, right? This comes at the beginning of the vlog. Hello. Good morning. Oh, yeah, I mean, you might be watching it any time of the day, but for me, it's the morning. Uh, this might be a bit of a different one for me. I'm going to start doing these kind of things when the opportunity arises, and today is a good day for this. I'm heading to Sheffield uh, to help produce uh, an EXO interview. Uh, Geordie and Lawrence sitting down with the man that is Tony Bellew. It's going to be wicked. Uh, obviously, Geordie knows his boxing inside and out, and Lawrence is one of the best interviews in the game. So uh, it's going to be a good day. How does this work? So what, I get, I get it leaving, don't I? Yeah. Right. yeah make oh, sure you get the artistic shot out the window. Okay. Wait, hang on. Um, hang on. Look. Watch his pants. Watch That's going to be nice, to Lars. Oh, sorry. There he is. No. You always have to have reluctant friends. <laughs> and then you do this. You have to yeah, have yeah, reluctant yeah. friends. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait. Oh, and then one guy who's yeah. really on it. Straight on the match. Yeah. Yeah. I'm messing you. One guy. So you have to plug match. Okay. You have to get the shot out the window. Right. And make sure to get Lawrence doing a smart, witty comment yeah. to camera. Okay. Something maybe insulting you, so yeah. you know that you can take, your audience yeah. knows that you can take the belt oh, off. Lovely, I like that. What you got, Lawrence? I suppose you could say, we're moving up in the world. <laughs> that wasn't... <laughs> Try again later when he's happy. Yeah, 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 okay, he gives it. People don't notice today with Lars that actually he he's not sarcastic straight away. It takes no. about midday, doesn't very it? Often, very often I'm just nice until twelve. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna cut in shots of uh, us eating us eating nice, healthy you know treats. Because I, mean? <laughs> I had a Snickers. Mm. Good that, isn't it? Do you want an apple corn? Oh, a huge moment for Con here. He's a little bit of mental prep before he goes. Right here we go. I've Talk us through this moment. What are you thinking? I don't know if I should go for the dip. Or should I just eat it, drink the tea, mix it up in my mouth and just enjoy it, you know add, what I mean? Add what would you suggest? Dip, go, go dip. dip. Lars? Always dip his knickers. Always I dip mean, his... See, I would go different. I would go nice, gentle gum, uh, gulp of tea, then, well, then Snickers. Lucky enough for all you viewers, I have enough here to do both. Tell me, tell me when. I mean when, that's far too long already, isn't it? No, you can never do long enough. Decent. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now let's go for ten. Out of five, out of five hours that. Seven. And what are you after? You're after melty goodness, I'd imagine. Give it a seven. Give it a seven. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty disgusting to look at. Yeah, that's grim. Technique number two. Oh, mate. Oh. Well, more of a tricky fit, no? Oh. Bad yeah. technique. Can't stand the heat. Ah. Oh. What can I say? I'm hot. What I do like to do is you get penguin bite the top off and then you put it in your tea and suck it. Wow. Right? And you just <laughs> keep sucking, right? This comes at the beginning of the vlog. Yeah. Um, and then in the end, the the penguin is penetrated by the warm water. <laughs> yeah. And sucking up through the penguin is this warm water <laughs> and it makes the penguin go all mushy. And it's almost like a penguin straw. It's like a chocolate harmonica straw. I like a Malteser with a sip. Yeah, one Malteser, and then straight in with the with the tea, and then that's going to gently soggy it down, but it's already good to go in the mouth. See, now that the tea's gone a bit lukewarm, technique number two is really working. It's incredible how you two look like very different sized people on this vlog camera. <laughs> you see, now James looks much bigger. It's weird. Better run out. That's what he does. Yeah. Soon. Why don't you do that documentary shot where you just look out the window and... Oh, yeah, pretend you're in a music video. Look a bit pensive, so it's sort of like... Yeah, exactly. I was starting to think that Con would never open up to me. <laughs> Hang on. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, and action. Philip Schofield, Philip Schofield, Philip Schofield, and cut. Brilliant. <laughs> Arrived, Sheffield, that, that hey. come round wrong. We're here, Con's excited. Millwall! Millwall? Millwall. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to get some food, then we're heading over to the Coldwell uh, Fitness Gym to go see uh, Bellew and his trainer, Dave Coldwell. Yes, Con. There's a lot of horny girls around there, aren't there? The toilet. <laughs> what are you... what? <laughs> so, what did Con just say, then? There's a lot of horny girls out here right now. Get it? It's a hat. And it's got horns on it. Ah. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to like the title of this vlog. <laughs> yeah, horny girls. <laughs> are we, are we really, Con? Are we three easy? more. Give us three more. I just can't. Oh, really? like, technically, there's six in there because they're like 
duo pack. Just gets moving. So, who's laughing now? Well, none of us. <laughs> don't be, don't be <laughs> stroppy. Right, here we are at Bellew's gym. I was texting him earlier in the week and I, he was saying, it's not, it's not pretty, but neither is getting punched in the face. The moment, unbelievable. Goodison Park. Two same men right there. Unbelievable. Everton fan goes and does it, wins the world title there. Look at that. All the hard work done here. Right here in the centre of this ring. Right. How did sparring go? Good. All good. Happy. Uh, boxing's the only sport in the world. You pay people to come and beat you up. <laughs> it's crazy. You pay to get beaten up. Please. God bless. Good Take care. Yes. See you, next, see you week. next week. Yeah, man. Boxing's the only sport in the world. Yeah, you pay people to beat you up. And let me tell you, you get a lot more than the minimum. <laughs> Thousand pounds in cash. This uh, thing that it's Hollywood. Well, professional boxing is not Hollywood. It's in the hotel. It's just me, my microwave, and my mailbox. Now that's fresh food that's cooked every two days. I go through four of these meals a day: two protein shakes and a protein bar somewhere down the road. So, a lot of water. Yeah, I've got one of them a day. What keeps me motivated? Yeah. What keeps me going? The thought, on, the thought on of when I'm not getting hurt. So, yeah. Everyone's driven and motivated by different things. Mm. Uh, I've never really been driven and motivated by money. Don't get me wrong, it helps. But I'm not motivated by money. Do you think for, do you think for any boxes that's enough? Money? Just, yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. Because if you're chasing money, then you've got to keep winning. So in boxing, you're only relevant if you win. No one gives a shit about losers. No one cares. You lose, you're on the scrappy. No one cares. Right. <laughs> uh, right, I need to explain something here. Um, because I'm going to put in some footage uh, from Tony Bellew, which was probably the best moment of my year so far. Con, uh, earlier on the train, Adam uh, said to Con that um, Sheffield was in Scotland. Uh, no, locked. he said it borders, okay, so you can, stand, well, yeah. you can stand in the middle of both. Right. So you, there's this place, which is believable, you know, in some places you can stand on the border and you can be in two places in one that time. That is true, like Istanbul, yeah. And then, yeah, Lars got, got it up and running, really went into deep detail about the Romans and how this is a thing. It's not a thing, just to be clear. And uh, What, the Romans thing wasn't even true? No, none of it's true, Con. <laughs> none of it's true. Con believed it, and then uh, when we chatted to Tony Bellew, he <laughs> dropped that in because we we're in Sheffield. Uh, <laughs> explained to him that uh, it's just the way I dropped passed it in. off that factoid, and uh, Tony Bellew uh, did this. This amazing. Has just said to me, I've just found out today, Sheffield borders <laughs> with Scotland. Are you guys taking this? Macy's on high. Our train journey was like two hours long. And all these guys are the high old ones. No, 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 no. That's something I'd expect from Jay Little or Fowler. Nah, that's even better. Even they understand where it's from. He was convinced. He believed it. We showed you the map and everything. We showed him. We even showed him on Google Maps. Look, mate, the border. No way. You can get away with it in the box because we're not the brightest. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that to anyone with any intelligence whatsoever. Thank you. Oh my I've god, learned, I can't believe I've learned a piece of <laughs> That's the funniest thing. Fantastic people we work with. I'm not even sorry. 
No, you shouldn't be buying that. No, you know. Thanks, James. My pleasure. Thanks, James. Thanks, Laurie. Thanks for saying it, though, Because he said, oh, I bet some of you went uni, right? Like, assuming some of us are smart. Mm -hmm. Clearly not. <laughs> and I was like, don't worry, mate. Like, I went uni. I, don't, I didn't even know that Sheffield borders of Scotland. <laughs> and he was like, he looks so confused that I thought, oh bless him, he doesn't even know himself. <laughs> I love that. Little did I, I, I know. That, you go, oh, you, I love that the, the ego in you is like, <laughs> poor little Tony. <laughs> He's got no idea, has he? Little did I know, <laughs> I'm the one that up. needs Jesus. Exactly. Look, Adam, New York Stadium. Home of Rotherham United. It's not bad, that, actually. Sorry, that's called New York Stadium? Yeah. Why? Because we're in New York. So we're in the Holiday Inn now. We're about to go into our lovely little room. Not as glamorous as the Dini one, but we're gonna make it work. So that you can see. We've got some nice chairs which we stole by Lawrence flirting with the uh, Holiday Inn stuff. He, he, did, uh, <laughs> he, did me, he did let me sit. Yeah, he was keen. Well, it's the naughtiest carpet I think I've ever seen. A naughty little carpet. A naughty little carpet, yeah. Um, yeah, so we need to Make it look nice. Well, <laughs> yeah. We're both scared. Up. It's all up to me now. It's all up to Con now. How do you improve a difficult set? Let's talk through it right now. <laughs> Let's talk through it. When you're interviewing, what are the must-haves that you've got to have there? With I suppose you? what you're wondering is, and this is very much between Brian and I, the metaphor for the way that we do an interview. First of all, let me take you through this. This is vital to me. Very often when I get on set, I'll say, I like to do a fruity interview. <laughs> And people will say, how do you do that, Lawrence? And I say, just a squeeze of lime. Yeah. You add just half a lemon, no more than that. And then, uh, obviously, one thing that's fucking vital is an apple. Clear, James. Okay. Let me be very clear. Go on. This here is the metaphor, metaphor for Brian, all right? Okay. Do you know what that Some stands for? Some people are wondering what that is. What mm. does it say? Rank Aldis. Yeah. Now, one thing Brian is, Rank. <laughs> What's his favourite supermarket and he likes loads of them? Yeah. Aldi's. Aldi's. <laughs> now I suppose you're also wondering what this object does. Now Brian is very much in his interviews a projector. Mm. He will project an image and that image will then bounce back to your eye and you'll see it in light and sometimes in sound you'll see it and it'll just, it'll make reality. <laughs> and that my friends is how we do mm. Filmmaking. What questions won't you be asking, Tony Bellew? Uh, Tony, Liverpool, Champions League this season. <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> Tony, Russia. XO members, favourite one? Tony, you're looking a bit tubby. Yeah. Why is that? Tubby toe. Oh. No, Tony, I would never say that. So, if you could be a toe, which one would it be? That's a good one. It's That's a good opener, it's a good icebreaker, that. It's a big icebreaker, yeah. You should just. Be yourself, <coughs> dream big, dream big. <laughs> Say I love you, believe in miracles. Can you get that in the interview? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, Con, can we do that thing where we're rolling up again when he comes in, you're sort of greeting and stuff. What have you learned? Like, every, everyone, you and Josh are still to this day, I don't think. Never yeah, never get him here. Real pleasure, man. Point out. Really appreciate your time. Pleasure, so much. Anytime. Yeah, let me know what you want me to tweet out or send me a big message or whatever. Brilliant. We'll be yeah. back. So, thank you very Thanks. much. Thanks. Good, Good luck, Tay. Thanks, boys. Luck, See you in after lap. Thanks, man. Tough day. Working hard. Look how the busy ones live. I mean, but that's how that's how the talent live. You know, you never know. One day I might get there, but not today. Scumbag. Yeah, he's up there. Scumbag. Hey.
Oh no, look, he's made the whole effort just to rub it in. I just say, I just, I always come down to talk to the little man. <laughs> but literally. <laughs> and I don't mean that in terms of a class thing, I mean right. that in terms of you are oh, literally talking to me. Yeah. 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 Um, listen. Do you want a quick, quick reaction to the uh, interview? Really good. I it was good, wasn't it? He was such a, he was a really giving interviewee, and after speaking to him in person and seeing his demeanour, I think he's a much more... I count with so much more respect than uh, way, the way that people portray him. Yeah, true. Totally. And I feel like I feel like we have a responsibility now to portray him in a responsible way, which makes him look like the guy that I saw. Yeah, totally. Maybe I've been suckered in by PR and just a couple of hours with him, but I also feel like. But he he made an effort. Well, no, but it, do you know what? He made an effort, and it wasn't an effort. You lied. For him to be honest. Can, can, can I just say one thing? You lied to me. It is all about how many followers you and how many subscribers. Can I just say one thing? Isn't okay. it? Um, go on. One thing that doesn't often get said on vlogs because people don't pick themselves up enough in the vlog community. Uh, that's our <laughs> That's me and you. Terrible um, line. First. The first one. Let me just. The light yeah, is not good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. James did a fantastic job of interviewing uh, Tony Bellew in the gym, and Con did a fantastic job of shooting Bellew while they're in the gym. And you two guys have made the day a lot easier for me to hang out in the first class. So yeah, thank yeah. you so much to both of you. It, it, fucked, Lawrence. Maybe he is. Maybe fucked. he is first class. Yeah. Lovely.